Right then, guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm ranking Warsaw's um, players' seasons um, in the 2020 21 season. I've left out players like Derek Cossier, um, Frank Vincent, um, Jaden Reed, um, Aiden George. Um, they haven't played enough games for me to rank them on. So the first player is James Clark. There is five um, tiers that can, that can go into. There was player of the season. There was good, bang average, not played enough games and poor. So James Clark, he's played 31 games this season. Um, he had that injury and when he came back in, he did tighten up the defence. Um, he has got captain values. Um, he's, his leadership is very good. And for that, I'm going to put him in a bang average season. Um, he hasn't been excellent and he hasn't really been poor. So I'll put him in bang average. The next play is Callum Cockrell Mullet. He's played 11 games this season. Um, not all of them were even start. Um, for that, I'm going to put him not played enough games. Um, he has been released. All these players up to Norman have been released from the football club and I wish them all the best in the future. The next player is Keelan Lavery. He has played 41 games this season. 22 of them were start. Six goals. Um, that's not good enough for a striker. Um, our strikers this season haven't looked like scoring um, and for that I'm going to have to put him in poor. When he did come in in the 1920 season I was expecting a lot better and he hasn't really delivered at Warsaw. The next player is Wes McDonald. He's played 41 games this season. I think 27 he's started to. Two goals, three assists. Um, he hasn't been great. Um, he, he can be a good player but he's been very predictable and, and I think teams have worked him out this season. I'm going to put him in a poor season. The next player is Josh Gordon. He had that injury. He did look good until that injury. Since he's come back, he's looked really poor and I think he's had a poor season this season. Um, we did offer him a new contract in November and he rejected it. So he has been looking to get out of the club since November time. Um, the next player is Jack Nolan. I'm going to have to put him in not played enough games. I think he's played um, nine games all season and two of them will start. Um, I think he, them two starts were in around January time. I know one of them was against Oldham and he looked like he has got the talent, but we don't know what's gone on behind the scenes. Um, if it, is it's his attitude, um, his, tra his work in training hasn't been good enough, but yeah, I'd like to see him have uh, more of a chance. That's with Callum Cockle and Mullet too. But, yeah, the next player is Cameron Norman. I'm going to put him in bang average. He was good for the first half of the season. He's playing most games. But since Brian Dutton has come in, he has favoured Hayden White at right back. And I think he's had a bang, bang average season. Um, and then um, the next player is um, Elijah Adeboyo. He has to go in good. Top goal scorer this season, which just shows how poor the strikers have been. He left in February to go to Luton Town. Um, he scored 10 goals this season in 25 games. He also scored a further five goals at Luton Town. Um, he's, deser he's deserved his chance at Luton Town and he's taken it. Um, this season has been uh, brilliant. 15 goals um, across two leagues. And, yep, yeah, the next play is Alfie Bates. Um, I'm going to put him in bang average. Under Darrell Clark, he was um, starting most games alongside Kinsella. But since um, Dutton has been manager until the end of the season, um, he's favoured Sam Perry. So I'm going to have to put Alfie Bates in bang average. The next player is Danny Guthrie. He has to go and pull. Um, obviously, he terminated his contract on the deadline day. Um, and he's moved to Iceland. He's had troubles with his fitness levels. He hasn't played um, full 90 minutes um, at Warsaw, I don't think. Um, he was expecting a lot better the clubs he's played at and yeah he just hasn't been good enough for his time at Warsaw. The next player is Rory Holden, excellent player and it's a good job that we've gone under contract for next season or I think we'd really struggle. Um, I think we've only won two games without him this season which, so, which shows how important he is to the team and I think if he'd have played more games I think he would have gone into that top tier. Um, talking about the top tier this man goes into it. Liam Kinsella, outstanding this season. Um, he might not have scored, he might not have got assists, but that's not the type of player he is. 
He's a tough tackling centre midfielder. Um, he deserves that captain's armband next season. Um, his effort um, is outstanding and he's my player of the season for the 2020-21 season. The next player is Zach Jules. When he played the first half of the season, he was good, very solid at left back. Um, um, and he does, um, he got the move to MK Dons, which um, he deserved. I know he didn't play in that 19-20 season. And when he's came in in the 2021 season, um, he's played well. And and yeah, the next player is Tom Leak. I'm going to put him in good too. I know he's only played four games, but then four games just look solid. Um, I know he hasn't really played the majority of the season, but I'm just going to put him in good for a good breakthrough season this season. And yeah, the next player is Max Melbourne. He's been solid since he's replaced um, Zach Jules, who went to MK Dons. Um, I think he's out of contract with Lincoln City, so hopefully we can snap him up. So I think he's good going forward and he's decent going defensively. And I think he could be a good left back going into next season. Next player is George Nurse, played 10 games at his loan spell of Warsaw, not played enough games. He scored that brilliant goal against Bradford City, but he had injuries at Warsaw, and that's why he only played 10 games and he went back to Bristol City in January. Next player is Emmanuel Osadib. I think if you're going off the first half of the season, he'd be going in poor, but I'm going to put him in bang average. I think if it had continued the form up he did under Brian Dutton, I think he'd be going into good. But he's really excelled under Brian Dutton, more game time, which shows, and he's signed a new contract and it's um, deserved. Next player is Sam Perry, um, more game time under Brian Dutton. Dow Clark was um, scared at times to play the youngsters. Um, but Sam Perry's been outstanding. He scored that cracking goal against Bolton Wanderers. He looks calm and composed in the midfield, really mature. Um, I think he's only 20 years old. Um, and he, he looks like he's been playing the game for um, 10 years or so. So for that, I'm going to put him in good. He's had a good breakthrough season. Next, fee- next season, I mean, he's going to be key for the midfield. The next, player, the next player is Liam Roberts. Six clean sheets. I think he's played 32 games. I'm going to put him in bang average. I know he's made some mistakes against Port Vale and Newport County, but he's kept us in games at times against um, Forest Green Rovers and Stevenage. So I'm going to put him in bang average. The next player is Jack Rose, another um, keeper. Uh, I think he's had an average season. He hasn't had as much game time as Liam Roberts. He's played 15 games, but he's got four clean sheets and I'm going to put him in average. Next player is Matt Sadler. He's either between good or average. I think I'm going to put him in good for the reason that um, he won't ex- um, I don't think he was going to expect him to play as many games as he has this season. I think he's played around 25 or 26 games this season, which is um, good. And I think he's been reliable. Um, and that's it. With James Clark being injured, um, I think he's been a reliable centre-back to call on and he's been solid. Next player is Dan Scar. I think he's been an average player this season. Um, I just think he's good. At, he's a really good defender. He wins aerial duels, but on the ball, he's not great. But he's a defender and that's what he gets paid for. And I'm happy he's been offered a new contract at the club. The next player is Jake Scrimshaw. Not played enough games. Obviously, went to Newport in January. Scored two brilliant goals against Port Vale. But he didn't get enough game time. And that was mainly due down to Darryl Clark. Um, he did, he, that performance against Port Vale was excellent. And he didn't even start in the next game. Um, but the loan signings this season have been pretty poor. Um, Stuart Sinclair, I'm going to have to put him in, not played enough games. Um He's a player that's been there to call on, but he has had a few injuries this season and he's uh, he's been released too um, and I wish him all the best. The next player is Hayden White. I'm going to put him in average. Um, I think that um, he's, first half he didn't have much, first half of the season didn't have much game time, but the second half of the season, Brian Dutton has really failed him, like I said earlier, over Cameron Norman. I think he's been solid um, going forward and defensively. The last player is Tyreek Wright. And for a 19-year-old that's coming on loan from Aston Villa, 
Um, first taste at senior football, I think he's been good. Um, I think he's been excellent. I think his touch is brilliant. Hopefully, we can bring him back on loan next season. Manager-wise, obviously, the odds-on favourite is Steve Coppel at the moment. Obviously, he's got that link with Jamie Fullerton, who is the director of football. I'd be happy with Steve Coppel. I think the second favourite is um, McGrill, too. I'd be happy with him. But Steve Coppel, I'd be happy with that. And I'll be making a video when um, the manager does get an end. So thank you guys for watching this video of me ranking the Warsaw players this season. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment with your thoughts um, of the video and what you've, who would your, your, your player of the season be and up the sad